I'd like to thank the uh, Pennsylvania School Librarians Association, the Pennsylvania Center for the Book, Pennsylvania State University Libraries, and Ben <coughs> Hopkins, who's also a friend of mine. Uh, in fact, this um, anthology, Nights and Hughes an anthology, was my introduction to Nights and Hughes back in the 1960s. So I'm really indebted to Lee because he introduced me to Nights and Hughes, who I consider to be my literary mentor. I'd also like to thank my mother, who's here with me this morning, uh, to whom I dictated my first poem and my first book. My mission as an author is to mine the past for family stories, fading traditions, and forgotten struggles. And my book, Birmingham 1963, certainly fits in with that mission, and, and this award uh, certainly affirms that commitment. I'm going to read uh, just about a third of the book to you, uh, beginning on the morning when the girl, uh, the, the ten-year-old narrator, goes to church. The day I turned ten, our church was quiet. No meetings, no marches. Mama left me in Sunday school with a soft kiss and coins for the offering plate. The teacher read a psalm, told a Bible story, and led a favorite hymn. Jesus loves the little children. I could hardly wait for church service to begin, to stand in the pulpit and sing from my heart. I wiped my clammy palms and took a deep breath. As I waited, four big girls giggled on their way to the restroom. I would have tagged along if I thought they'd include me. The day I turned 10, someone tucked a bundle of dynamite under the church steps, then lit the fuse of hate. Seconds later, a blast rocked the church. Smoke clogged my throat, stung my eyes as I crawled past crumbled plaster, broken glass, shredded Bibles, and wrecked chairs, yelling, Mama, Daddy. Scared church folk ran every which way to get out. That bomb left 21 hurt, and those four girls, Cynthia, Denise, Carol, and Addie Mae, dead. This is my sister, a boy cried. My God! 10.22 a.m., the clock stopped, and Jesus' face was blown out of the only stained glass window left standing, the one where he stands at the door. The Lord is my shepherd, said the pastor on the megaphone. The day I turned 10, I saw blood spilled on holy ground, and my daddy cried for the very first time. What have those girls done to deserve this? At supper, no one had much appetite. Afterwards, Mama washed and I dried dishes while she hummed. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. By evening, stonings, shootings, and fires broke out. Keep your children inside, the police warned. I wondered if I could ever play outside again. I prayed myself to sleep that night. Please protect my family, Lord. God give poor angels wings. The day I turned 10, there was no birthday cake with candles, just cinders, ash, and a wish I were still nigh. And finally, uh, one of the poems uh, in tribute to uh, one of the girls who was, uh, was slain. And this, is, uh, this poem is for Carol Robertson. Carol Robertson, who loved books, earned straight A's, and took dance lessons every Saturday who joined the Girl Scouts and Science Club and played clarinet in the high school band, a member of Jack and Jill of America, Carol, who thought she might want to teach history someday, or at least make her mark on it. Thank you very much.